Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here at Baxter Cycle in the mighty metropolis of Marnie, Iowa. And look what we got here today, besides this wonderful sunny day. This is a, what is this? This is a unique one of a kind. It's a, uh, well, it's a Royal Enfield. You can't see, it's kind of a ghosted uh, mark right there. But check this out, Shotgun 350. Have y'all seen one of those yet? That is a very exclusive motorcycle. I think it's one of one. And uh, let me tell you all about it. Well, let's start with what it started out. It started as a Meteor. And uh, so it's got a uh, Meteor 350. It's got a, a single cylinder, so it's a single shot shotgun. Single overhead cam, two valve per cylinder, 20 horsepower, 20 foot pounds of torque. That's about 27 Newton meters, five speed transmission. I think this one has a heel shifter. Da, da, da. Check out that sticker. Isn't that cool? You know, all the specs are off because this bike has been modified so much. So uh, the only thing that would be stock would be the wheelbase. And I think that's about 55 inches. But they put 17 inch tires on this. I think it had a 19 and a, I'm not sure what the back was, but now it has 17 front and rear. It's got the uh, lower ground clearance, mag wheels. It's got the standard 300 millimeter front disc with the dual piston vibrees, anti-lock brake. I think it's a uh, 270 millimeter disc on the rear. Dual shock rear end, normal front end, suspension, 41 millimeter tubes. Now, what did they do to it? The extra stuff, the special stuff. It's got, I already mentioned, the 17 inch tires front and rear, which is gonna really change the way the handles. They put these uh, boots on here, the mags, of course. They've got this little fly screen, beautiful little fly screen. Love these Royal Enfield bar end mirrors. Check that out. And that, and that just, look at that. Very nice place to be. The special paint on the tank, the sticker here, they blackened these out right here. They did all this work here. Red star matches the red on the wheels. The same with the white letter lettering. Just a really good job of that. Oh, YSS shocks. I put these same shocks on my 650 Super Meteor and it just changed the bike dramatically. And uh, I am amazed. I didn't realize they'd done that on this one. Uh, it's also got this back plate for uh, luggage. What else have they done with this thing? Well, look at this pipe. Isn't that amazing? That is not the stock pipe. That is a shotgun pipe. That is a single shot shotgun pipe. Check that out. Very nice, very nice. I love it. So what am I expecting out of this? Well, lower center of gravity, smaller wheels, much lower to the ground seat. I did sit on it. It does feel much shorter. The, the standard Meteor has a 29 inch seat. This is gonna be much lower than that. Isn't that just a beautiful bike? Just check that out. I love the way they've milled the ends on these heads here. That really adds a nice touch to it, doesn't it? Gorgeous, gorgeous. You know what? I think I've done enough talking. Let's take this hot rod for a ride. Wahoo! Hey, Exhaust Pipe Alley! <laughs> Wahoo! The uh, seating position has changed a little bit also. At least it feels like it has. I wonder if these are the stock bars or not. Check this out, huh? Beautiful, beautiful clutch. I love the way this thing does it. Boy, the handling is, I'm going to say right now, the handling is different. The bar end mirrors are effective. I like the way they look. I like the way they work. I'm leaning forward a little more than I expected. The bars feel good in my hands. Very nice. Let's do our little figure eight test here. Check this out, huh? Look at that. Just amazing. Those 17 inch tires really make a difference. I'm absolutely amazed. Hey, a little bit of dirt there, huh? <laughs> Rod. I don't know if you all can see those Bigfoot up on that hill over yonder. There's three of them just over that house. Beautiful five-speed transmission. I love the way the engine and the five-speed work together on this bike. I like the wheels. I like the way it handles. Very interesting. The seating is very different, but then with those 17-inch wheels, it really feels like nothing else they've made before. It's a very different bike. Look at how this thing spins here. It's got the 300 millimeter disc on the front with the dual piston vibrees. Boy, the handling is amazing. I'm really amazed by that. That's, how can that be so different on a motorcycle like this? I mean, just check this out. I am absolutely impressed with that. You know, the seating position is more central and a little lower, a lot, quite a bit lower. And then now it's got those 17 inch tires. That really makes a difference. Very unique, very unique. Also, it's got a 270 millimeter disc on the rear with a single piston vibrate. Beautiful little bike. Nobody behind us. Let's do our little spin test right here. Check this out, huh? Look at that. Absolutely amazing handling. Very good feel. 
Next time you all make your way tomorrow and you get yourself over here to the derailed grill right there, try their uh, Wahoo Burger. <laughs> I love it. So the seating position, I'm leaning forward on this. The bars seem wider, although I think they're stock. My hips and my knees are about the same height. My heels are directly below my knees. Pretty comfortable, but yet somewhat sporty. And I think that's really because of the tires. I think the bike, the center of gravity is definitely lower on this because of that. I like the, I like the way this thing handles. That's a really unexpected surprise. I think that's something the single shot shotgun has hit right on spot. <laughs> it will spin on gravel. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. You know, we better simmer down, huh? There is Motorcycle Park over yonder. <laughs> and spin some more. <laughs> Me gusta, me gusta mucho. This thing is a grin, an absolute grin. Let's do a little uh, spin this way. How's that sound? Hey, hey, we got gravel everywhere. Ha, ha, ha. What a good handling bike. What a great handling little motorcycle. I like the 17s on the Meteor. That is a real good ad. I wonder if Baxter's carries that in stock. You know, if I, had a, if I had a Meteor, I might consider something like this. If you have a Meteor, you might want to get down here and take this one for a ride. It's an incredibly low bike with an incredibly low center of gravity, and you can really tell it riding it. I, I know I'm going on and on about that, but uh, it's really a surprise. This is the uh, famous East Marnie. <laughs> if you're lucky enough, you get out here, you can see a deer, maybe some turkeys out there sometime. Uh, the gauge on this, this has the Oculus, as I like to call it. It's got the analog speedometer on the outside. In the center, it's got about an inch and a half in diameter LCD screen. And on that LCD on the top, there's a digital fuel gauge. Right center is a always visible, hey, we got a turn here, don't we? Always visible gear indicator. And left center is an always visible, it looks like a clock. Then there is a odometer. And then using this button over here, you can go from trip A to trip B, then back to odometer. There's also a USB port. I'm mentioning that now because I always forget. There's a USB port underneath here that's active when the bike is on. Uh, other things up here, the information button, the clutch lever, of course. Pass to flash, low beam, high beam, blinkers, <laughs> horn. Over here, it's a kill switch, run switch, and a starter switch, rocker switch, and the hazard lights, and of course, the fuel and the brake on the right side. This is quite the machine. You know what, let's take it down the highway a little bit. Let's get down here and see how that works. It's a beautiful day in the mighty mini tropolis. If y'all are in the market for a newer used Royal Enfield Triumph Classic British bike of any type, get yourself over here to the mighty mini tropolis of Marnie, Iowa. They've got parts, accessories, doodads, thingamajigs, coats, boots, gloves, you name it, they got it. If you can't make your way to Marnie, go to BaxterCycle.com. Make sure you tell them fine folks that Fuzzy Biker sent you. Now let's little do a little spin here. Check this out. Turn, turn, turn. The Royal Enfield Single Shot Shotgun. Wahoo! Alrighty, my friends, I'm going to run this bike back into the shop here. Let's take it for a spin around the parking lot. It's kind of a fun little thing to do, little tight turns on. Check this out, huh? <laughs> it, does, it just does it so well. You know, that little 17 inch tire, well, front and back, it just makes a lot of difference. Hey, if the weather's great where you all are at, get out there and ride, my friends. Wahoo!